I have one of the most expensive bolts that you've probably never heard of. At a whopping three and a half thousand dollars, you'd probably expect something a little more than what's inside this box. It's almost, I don't know, I guess anticlimactic. So, <laughs> when I went to go and collect this from the guys who managed to organize this, I didn't really know what I was going to go and get. I just knew that it was called a super bolt. So, I had this idea in my mind that it was going to be something really big and heavy. And then I'm going to end up like, you know, walking out with this massive box like this. And when the guy presented it to me, I'm kind of like, are you sure this is it? And are you sure that's the price? And it was. So, I'm just going to show you what this is. And it's definitely something that's very new to me. So, I think let's just cut to the chase and I'm going to show you guys what this thing is. Now, just keeping in mind that it did actually come with instructions on how to use a bolt. So you know it's a, an impressive piece of kit. So let's check it out. There it is. I know, right? Super anticlimactic. But I'm going to explain to you how this thing works in very short. So, for starters, this material is uh, quite unique. And it's made of a couple of metals put together to form like a super alloy. Um, the metals include adamantium, uh, vibranium, um, Thor's hammer, and uh, some tiny Stark engineering. So uh, actually, yeah, it's it's really hard material, just to be uh, perfectly honest with you guys. Um, and the way this thing works is really clever. So you can see it's not that big. But I was told that the force that this thing can clamp down to is pretty much equivalent to, if I'm not mistaken, he said around 2,000 Newton meter, which is insane. And that can be achieved with a simple 3-8 drive, you know, torque wrench or ratchet or power bar. And the way that is achieved is, if you look, okay, this washer is also like a super hard washer. So if you look over here, you can see that there's like a couple of, um, <clears throat> studs if I can say around the radius and these have got three screws on this uh, screw threads on this hex and what happens is you turn this nut on the inner thread until it's butt up actually until there's a bit of a, a a gap between this washer and this probably like between one and three mil and then what happens is when you tighten these down, as I said, they got screw threads, they pretty much jack this housing away from this washer. They jack it away, keeping in mind that these threads are still biting on the shaft. And that opposite force is what creates that pressure, if I can say. So similar to a nut that you would turn and tighten on, you can achieve more Clamping force, if I can say that, just by these little M, what are these? They look like not even M8 sized little screws. And what's cool about this is you don't need to uh, slog, you know, the nut tight or try and get it loose. It's highly unlikely that anything is ever going to seize. So, guys, at three and a half thousand dollars, this is some impressive piece of kit. And it does sort of look like something that you can make um, at home, you know, with a couple of simple basic machining tools, you know, a lathe. But I think where the price comes in with this is the material that this is made of, just because it can hold so much force. So this, guys, is the most expensive nut that you've never heard of. In case you guys are probably thinking that I'm an idiot for calling it a bolt this entire time, well, there it is, super bolt. Spanish,